Welcome back YouTubers and fellow toy train buffs to another running session out here in the cave. Uh, here we have, well, here we have the set I ran the last time. Can't run it again though because I put the American Tunnel back and of course this this uh, engine here will slam into it with those those bars that stick out for the reversing mechanism. Alrighty, so what do we have? Well, if we if we go back you kind of see this whole layout. This board, this L-shaped board, is what's left of my old Marksville and Plateau layout. And you'll notice there was a whole bunch of videos years ago on my YouTube channel. You can go back and check it out. But this is all that remains of the Marksville and Plateau. So, what do we got today? Well, check this out. Back in... 2000, I was stationed in at Osan Air Base, Korea, and right outside the the main gate was the town of Songtan. And as you as you leave the gates, the first thing you notice is you know city, hundreds of small stores, all kinds of stores, clothing stores, shoe stores, souvenir store, you name it, right. And out of all those stores, there was just one, what what we would probably consider a hobby shop. It had, you know, model kits and paints and toys and stuff. No, no O-scale or O-gauge trains, no HL-scale trains either. What they did have were a couple of these battery-operated sets made by a company called Ada. A-I-D-A. -A. Alright. Now this is the smaller of the two sets that I bought. <clears throat> I've set it up once before. Or maybe twice. I don't remember. It comes with this huge instruction sheet uh, full of precise graphics showing a young <clears throat> how to put this thing together. And what I... When I got this, what I really liked at the time, this company Ada apparently made a whole system of accessories to go with these train sets. All right, buildings, vehicles, uh, street signs, you name it, streets, and I, I look at bridges, a whole series of bridges, and for the life of me, uh, I hadn't been able to find anything else from this this company uh, that would have been cool to, to set this thing up the oval measures approximately oh see I'm forgetting I measured it the other day 24 by 51 54 something like that so it's a decent sized oval and track is O gauge I put my Joyline wind-up engine on here, and it ran pretty good, except for when it went over this this awkward little affair here. This station, uh, I'll turn it on, <coughs> is activated by these track sections. They the train goes over it. And, might be hard to see, there you go. Oh. Now here's the only issue that I have with the set. The engine is not actually heavy enough to activate these sounds. I have to press down with my finger. Alright. It's a high speed bullet train type of an engine. And we'll, we'll turn it on. I can't back up anymore. There's boxes right behind me. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Non derailing switches. The entire track system sets on these little piers, and each pier has a hole in it to put accessories like street lights, telltales, telephone poles, and even trees. All right. They don't give you enough accessories to place on each and every pier, but it's okay. Flop. There it is. <laughs> Alrighty. So a nice little set. This is the dummy engine. This uh, the battery cover is actually uh, glued or welded on, whatever they do. It takes two double A batteries for the engine, and <clears throat> come on. Oh sure, it comes off easy enough when I don't want it to come. Okay, there you go. Two double A's for the uh, for the station. Fun little set. I like it. Nice souvenir of my time in Korea. And there you have it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, this unusual little running session out here in the cave. And until next time, you know, uh, hit like, subscribe, comment if you want to. Choose a do. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye, y'all.